progress. Progress is always appreciated. Yeah, I've, I've been trucking through pretty decently. I um, we're basically right off a fresh playthrough of Dust, so survival and just kind of taking our time and double checking really big. Alrighty, let me run to the bathroom so I can do a paranormal stuff. Yeah, I I know what to expect pain wise. We did uh our playthrough of Dust was was pretty rough, but we made it. All right, let's take a look back again at Paranormal Site, which is a great game that I feel is super slept on. Uh, it's definitely been a while since we played it. I think this is going to be part three, maybe. Let me double check my notes. That's going to be part five. Wow. Okay. So I'm a little behind, but this will be Paranorma Site part five once I remember the alphabet. There it is. Oh, excuse me. Ah, but yeah, last time we left off, we met the school janitor. Um, but yeah, the dust, the the frost mod is definitely something that's going to be. I'm going to be throwing that up. Um, while we're in Japan, just so there's like fresh content, because I I don't have time to re record stuff offline to hide. And he's like, oh look, it's brand new, but um. It's, um, there's going to be a lot of it. That's already, like, part 15. Um, and I might hold the Pokemon stuff up on that as well. Um, yeah. Ugh. I gotta plug my controller back in for this one. Ah, uh, don't say that. I mean, it's definitely something that you can you can tame down, um, and you can quick save. And there's still stuff you can do for Frost that makes it <laughs> makes it playable for any level. And I mean, if you're in it for just the exploration, definitely um, you could look. I don't. I don't talk down to people just use console commands make yourself invincible and then it just gives you the chance to explore <laughs> all 
All right, the sketchy school janitor. <coughs> you all right, Bubba? Mm -hmm. Well, I know you're rough around the edges, but I didn't take you for one to act out like this. No, oh, I'm sorry. I forgot something back in the classroom. Hmm, no sass today, huh? Realized you were in the wrong, did you? Yeah. Forgot something in your classroom, huh? You're a piece of work. Hmm? But you don't have nothing with you. Oh. Wait, you do? What's that in your hand? Huh? Well, um, this is what I forgot. I, uh, got it from my grandpa. It's really important to me. Huh. Girls these days sure have weird tastes. Well, okay. Better head straight home if you're done. I won't tell on you. No, wait. I can't let you walk home alone this late. All right, wait just a little. I'll hurry and lock things up. Um, but... Um, actually, a friend of mine is still inside. I think they'll be here soon. That's so. Well, who's your friend? Um, my classmate, Mio Kurisuzu. Ah, the transfer student? Breaking school rules already, huh? Didn't take her for the type. No, I was the one who dragged her here. Well, whatever. I'll go take a look. It'll be safer if you go home together. Oh, right. She's in the first floor hallways. Be careful, though. You don't know what may be there. What was that supposed to mean? First floor? Yeah, I'll be right back. My man's about to get ganked by the ghosty woasties. She's late. I've been waiting for 20 or 30 minutes, but there's no sign of her. I'm starting to get worried. I'm gonna take a look. That's a horrible idea. Mio, are you there? Ah, dead bodies everywhere. Huh? Yeet. She ain't got no leg. What? Mia, what happened? Where did I go wrong this time? It's all my fault. I left her alone with a curse bearer. I'm sorry, Mia. Ah, damn. I got yoinked, too. Hmm. All right, I'll try again. All right, Mr. Junoichi was actually looking for you inside the main building. What was that? He's here right now? What the fuck's he thinking? I don't know. He was in Class 3B on the second floor just a bit ago. Well, I suppose that means I can't be locking up yet. Second floor, you said. I'll go take a peek. Be back in a jiff. Hey, yo, is this dude a curse bearer? 
Um, my house is really close by. I'll be fine on my own. Really. Not so. Ah, the snack shop, right? Suppose you'll be fine, then. Be careful now, you hear? Stay on the big, well-lit streets. If something happens, shout fire. Okay, you worry too much. Well, we won't want to be losing any more students. Though I imagine you'd know that better than anyone. Yeah, you're right. Let's see if Mio made it back. Apparently not. Mio's late. Huh? There's someone coming down the road. Who the hell's that? That's... Oh no, a teacher. It's Mr. Araishi. He looks on edge. I wonder what he's doing. Hmm. That thing in Mr. Araishi's hand can't be. Whoa. Could that be a curse stone? Oh. I don't think anything good can come from him seeing me. Wait. He's the one who discovered the Rite of Resurrection. It wouldn't be strange at all for him to have something to do with the curses. Then, could the curse echo from before have belonged to him? Ah. Shit, did he notice me? Oh, hello, Yako. What are you doing here? Ah, that was fast. Did you not hear me? What are you doing here? I, um... I'm waiting for someone. In the middle of the night, I'm disappointed in you. Bad children who get in trouble at night need to be punished. What are you doing here? It's a special night tonight. Did you not know that? Yes. Why? Oh, you should tell Cinder. Oh no. Oh my god. <laughs> A special night? Oh, because of the Feast of Shadows. Oh. Oh. Well, you know a lot. Did you hear about it from someone, hmm? No, it's just a rumor that's been going around. No, there's no such rumor. Aha, it must be that transfer student. She has it, you know. You must as well. Take out what's in your pocket and show it to me. But, um, it's... Ow, stop it! I knew it. I see. You have one. Um, it's not... That Netsuke is of great historical importance to the area. But it's dangerous to speak here. Why don't you come with me? This is important. Ugh, that hurts. Stop. You're hurting me, Mr. Arayushi. Please stop pulling me. Ah, fire! There's a huge fire! To stop that. Someone will come. Damn it, get over here. Fuck. Where am I? It's completely dark. What's the meaning of this, Mr. Araishi? Oh. Rip. Nope. <laughs> I am, in fact, not, Poot. Though our friends at Square Enix are, this game, this game's been really freaking cool. Oh. Well, that's one of the potential endings. <sighs> hmm. 
Hmm. Okay, so what if we go to, instead of shouting fire, we do the other thing? I forget what my curse stone is. How are you doing tonight, Pooh? No, it couldn't wait. Okay, so this just loops over to him grabbing our curse stone. Help! Somebody! Do you really think someone will come this late even if you scream? Yo, there you go, dude. That's not the right answer either. Hmm. Hmm. Can I escape from Komogata High? Let's go back one more time. Okay. I'm not sure, Senna. I'm really not sure. Okay, so this is where we started tonight. Okay, let's take a different path. Um, actually, a friend of mine is still inside. I think they'll be here soon. That's so? Who's your friend? Um, my classmate, Mio Korosuzu. Ah, that transfer student? Breaking school rules already, huh? Didn't take her for the type. No, I was the one that dragged her here. Well, whatever. I'll go take a look. It'll be safer if you go home together. Oh, right. She's in the first floor hallways. Be careful, though. You don't know what may be there. What's that supposed to mean? First floor, yeah? Now I'll be right back. I think this is the only choice that we haven't made. <laughs> yeah, I made a mistake. That's okay, Poot. <laughs> That's okay. This is very kind of trial and airy, but not in a bad way. It just makes you think outside the box sometimes. She's late. I've been waiting 20 or 30 minutes, but there's no sign of her. I'm starting to get worried. I'm going to take a look. No, no we're not. We're going to turn around. Mio, are you there? Huh? Nope. Nope. I'm not going to look at it. You can't make me. Ah.
Hmm. Well, that's not right. <laughs> Do we get the option to try again, or is it story chart? Okay, so this might give me another option. Okay, so nothing different yet. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> no, why do you keep taking a look? Get out of there. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I guess so. We just we're just do you know double confirming. It's like you got to double tap. Okay. Well, I guess we'll have to story chart. I know you do. It's what a real friend would do. I'm sorry, Bubba. I'm sure they're going to go to a great home. Chris can get them. Chris, do you want some derpy looking cats? Okay. Ask Shelby about the derpy cats. I don't know, babe. You have to remember Washington is enormous. Oh, they're in Spokane. That's not too far away. just start this one back up no they're not pictures of me hmm what's wrong Mia someone's there in that classroom what something moved inside well It 
It might be the curse bearer who used that curse echo just now. If we see who it is, it might help us decide what to do later. That's true. Okay, be careful. Well, can you see anything? Try and get a look around. Yeah, it's those two. Ah, oh, hmm? Is that our homeroom teacher, Mr. Jonoluchi? And the person with him is Hitomi from Class A? What? Oh my, well, what's going on here? Ah, that bastard. He's at it again. I have to kill him. I won't let him get away with this. What? The curse. I could kill him with it. No, Yako, you can't use the curse stone. What's gotten into you? Resist it. Who's there? Is someone there? This is bad. We have to go before they see us. Yo, Mia's a real one, though. For real, for real. It seems like they're not coming after us. Let's hope they didn't see our faces. But, Yako, what came over you all of a sudden? <sighs> Sorry. Thanks for stopping me. It's like this uncontrollable rage suddenly welled up inside me. I wonder what's gotten into me. I can barely even remember what happened. I'm really sorry. I do think it's partly the curse's influence on you, but we certainly saw something shocking. My heart's still pounding. I'm a little surprised you know Hitomi from Class A. She tends to stand out a lot. Gotcha. Well, she certainly does dress like a delinquent, though she barely shows up to school. But could Mr. Junoichi or Hitomi really be a curse bearer? I don't know, but we should be careful just in case. Yako? Hmm? When I give the signal, run. Go straight for the entrance, and don't look back, no matter what. Huh? Why? Did something happen? Something happened, didn't it? What about you, Mio? I'll be fine. We'll meet up outside the school gates. I'm not there in 10 minutes. Go straight home, okay? Okay, go. Oh, nope, she did. Snitch ass school janitor for real, for real. On oh, God, <laughs> I'm not acting out. What about you? Should you be smoking on school grounds? Uh, well, it ain't lit, so it's all right. You know, it's uh, an accessory. Bitch ass, snitch ass, motherfucker. Hey, don't go changing the subject. There's just no letting my guard down with you. So, why are you here so late? Well, um, the truth is I forgot something in my classroom. Again? You're sure a piece of work. Hmm? We don't have none with you. Oh. Wait, you do? What's that in your hand? Uh-huh. Well, um, this is what I forgot. I, uh, got it from my grandpa. It's really important to me. Huh. Girls these days sure have weird tastes. This man hasn't talked to a woman in fucking years. 
Well, okay. Better head straight home if you're done. I won't tell on you. Yeah, over! <laughs> <coughs> Bruh, for real. Alright, well, I guess we'll have to try the other option because Mio's gonna get fucking ganked again. Yeah, this is my important trip. My grandpa gave it to me. Uh, she dead again. You fool! You absolute buffoon! Wish there was a fast forward button for this, because I've seen it like three times already. <laughs> okay, well, I guess if anything's worth doing twice, we'll take the other option and see if anything changes. This is definitely a game uh, where patience pays off. Oh, uh, more than likely. Okay. Uh, you ain't wrong. Well, I guess if this kicks us back to the storyboard again, I guess that's... Yep, this is the same so far. Alright, so don't trust this guy. Don't trust one of the two people that's in the building or the janitor. Blah, blah, blah. Alright, so I guess we're going back to the storyboard or the story chart. All right, speaking of cops, I guess we'll start out on the cop story because that's what we got left. Everything else be bricked up. I can't get to that one yet. It's the golden retriever. The former Yasuda Gardens. We got enough time to at least intro this and then I gotta get some rest. Hey boss, forensics is all done. The crime scene is clean. The other officers have all gone home. It's just us now. The park should be able to open back up tomorrow like nothing ever happened. I doubt it'll get many visitors after everything that's happened. 
You'd be surprised. Lots of people love that kind of thing. I'll bet they'll be lining up to get in. Occult stuff is really popular right now. Did you not know that, boss? Sounds stupid. Well, it's not exactly rooted in science, but if ghosts really did exist, we could just ask them who the perp is. Somehow, I doubt it'd be that simple. Oh, but you know, I've heard that high school girls are really into this spirit board thing these days. Supposedly, you can call on spirits and talk to them by using a board with letters on it. Wouldn't that be something? You can try it out yourself if you're so interested. Hey, that's not a bad idea. Let's give it a go sometime, boss. What now? Stop messing around. You really think we're going to solve this case by moving a coin across a scrap of paper? Sounds like you know all about it. We've got to be open-minded. What if that's how police work is going to be from now on? Do not make me laugh. <laughs> Listen up, Ario. You can't go blaming the death of your buddy on something like the occult. I don't care if it was ghosts or the occult or what, whoever or whatever it was that did this. I'll get them. I promise you that. Well, you've got the right attitude, but we don't even know if this is a murder yet. Bias is weak in our judgment. You get too fixated on one thing and you stop seeing everything else. Aye, aye, boss. So, now that we've finished investigating the scene, let's review what we know. Hmm? Now? It's getting late. I figured we'd head straight home from here. Come on, we've got to go over all the info we've gathered. And what better place to do it than here at the crime scene where we can soak up the atmosphere? This dude's weird AF. Soak up the atmosphere? The hell is there to soak up? You must re <laughs> you must be really into this occult stuff if you get off on being in a place like this. Wait, you mean being somewhere like this doesn't get your blood pumping? No way. No, no, don't turn this around on me. I'm not the weird one here. Cripes. Oh, fine, let's get this over with. The former Yasuda Gardens here in Yokoami Ichome were originally built as part of the Daimyo's estate back in the Edo period. The park became city property a number of years ago and underwent extensive renovations. There's not a soul around at this time of night. Quiet doesn't even begin to describe it. <laughs> this pond, they say it used to flow into the Sumida River, but the river became so polluted that they cut it off. Weird champ. June Ario, a detective in the Tokyo Metropolitan Police Department, 1st Investigative Division. His rank is sergeant. This is his first time leading a case. It's like he's graduated from a rookie to newbie. He looks put together on the outside, but acts like a kid most of the time. Honestly, the force could use more people like him. Oh my god, he do, though. <laughs> so, early in the morning yesterday, a staff member found the victim collapsed here in the park and called the police when they realized he was dead. While there was no obvious external wounds, the fact that he was a police officer and the evidence of a struggle means that it was likely this was a murder. The Sumida office sent it over to us since it involved the death of an officer and we were tasked with the investigation. What we need to do is figure out what happened and whether there was foul play involved. I think that about sums things up. But, uh, boss? Is this case really important enough to assign someone from the investigation division? I mean, a friend of mine died, so it's important to me, but... It's all up to the higher-ups. I'm sure they've got their reasons. Boss, you know something, don't you? It'll all become clear in time. Try not to worry about it too much. Thinking about it, the only thing we know for sure is the identity of the victim. That means there must have been something special about him, right? M maybe he knew something he wasn't supposed to, some kind of secret or something. Isn't that right? You're pretty sharp sometimes, you know that? If you've picked up on that, you should be able to put the rest together yourself. 
Mm. The victim is Hajime Yoshimi of the Juvenile Division of the Sumida City Community Safety Bureau. 27 years old, single. He mostly dealt with the case involving juveniles and education. His rank was senior police officer. You knew him well, didn't you? What was he like? Yeah, we were in the academy together. We still went out for drinks together every month or two. He could be a little rowdy, but he was like a big brother to us all. He was kind and cared about his friends. For better or worse, he wasn't the uptight top type of a cop. The man always showed empathy, and I heard he was popular with the locals for it. He treated each and every troubled kid he met with compassion, and he had a great track record when it came to rehabilitation. Sounds like we lost a good one. Hey, cab. Yeah, we did. We truly did. I knew being a cop was dangerous, and I knew something like this could happen, but... It's never easy when it happens for real. I know the feeling. He didn't seem to care much about climbing the ranks, but he was at the top of our class. The only problem was that he took on so much. He had the most unfinished paperwork, too. I always felt like we need an unusual guy like him to help us solve all our unusual cases. Don't worry, you're pre plenty unusual yourself. Me? I was the most normal of my classmates. Mmm, besides, the real weirdo among us quit the academy a long time ago. There was one even weirder than you? Damn. And as for the cause of death, we won't know until the autopsy is done. From what we've seen, though, it appeared to be some kind of acute heart failure. But since he had no record of chronic illness or no possible wounds, it's possible that poison or drugs could have been involved. Dying in the middle of the park like that, it certainly seems suspicious. Well, we found signs of a struggle at the scene, as well as footprints belonging to an unidentified individual. We've got people trying to identify those prints. If we can find who they belong to, we might be able to figure this whole thing out. Yes, wouldn't that be nice if that were the end of it? The only things Hajime had on him were his badge and his wallet in his pockets. So we can rule out a mugging. Though they probably aren't many people who'd try to think to try mugging a cop as big as him. I've also heard that Hajime got into a fair few fights in his younger days. He started judo once he became an officer and rose up the ranks quickly. Sounds like the perp would have had to been pretty strong to take on Hajime. Alright, cool. We got two more and then I gotta call it a night. But either way, I'm so glad you're back in the first division, boss. I've always admired your work. You were like a god to me. You were the whole reason I became a detective in the first place. Uh, yeah, about that. People have been saying that ever since you first entered the academy, but... Yeah, that's because it's true. I couldn't believe you got transferred out of the first just as I was assigned to it. The two of us... So, so getting a work, a case like this now, just the two of us, is a dream come true. <laughs> Happy as I am to hear that. Um, well, how should I put it? What is it? If that's true, I'm not sure you've been showing me the appropriate amount of respect. Huh? But I do respect you. Don't tell me you're going senile, boss. That's exactly what I'm talking about when you run your mouth like that. It's getting late. You must be sleepy. Don't worry, boss. I'll make sure we get out of here soon. Yeah. Yeah, I get it. This is how you all talk to me, chat. And it's very rude. I know I'm old. And I'm cranky and tired. Leave me alone. <laughs> so, all this occult stuff. Have you heard about it, boss? What the fuck are you talking about? The right of resurrection thing that everyone's talking about. Ugh, no, not you two. I've been hearing about that shit everywhere. Oh, have you? Have you heard about this new AI tech code, ChatGPT? Shut the fuck up. That's surprising. Who cares what people are talking about? It's got nothing to do with our job. But don't you think the occult stuff with this case feels, I don't know, realer somehow? The whole thing started right here in Hanjo in Sumida City, so I thought that maybe... Cut it out. 
nothing good can come of getting involved with that right of whatever or that record of fates. Sounds like you know all about it. Boss, are you secretly into the occult? Chris, fuck you. Stop that. Seriously. This isn't a joke. I get why you'd be intrigued by something called the Rite of Resurrection after a buddy of yours died, but bringing the dead back to life, that's the stuff of fantasy. It's not real. So don't go hoping for miracles. Got it? Oh, damn. We got way more. All right. Well, unfortunately, I am past time. Um, we'll have to pick this back up next Tuesday. Some spooky Tuesday stuff. Um, but yeah, good bit of progress here. Um, and it looks like we're going to be working with some cops, I guess. Everyone boo the cops. Um, but yeah, we'll thank our friends at Square Enix for this. Um, good, good little bit of puzzles before bed. Um, yeah, you know, just a little bit of casual resurrection. Um, but yeah, for me, I got to call tonight. We'll be back tomorrow. Tomorrow's Wednesday. We're going to try, oops. Another Forspoken run. Hopefully try and get the timings a little bit better. Um, what else? Oh, tomorrow's Persona, Persona night. So yeah, we'll probably poke around some more Fallout or Pokemon, whatever kind of free time I have, or we'll just kind of take a large bite out of Persona. Um, but yeah, thanks for hanging, y'all. There's the Discord if you want to hang out with us. I ping once a week. That's it. Um, community game night on Saturday. Uh, we also have a cooking stream. If you have not voted in the cooking stream... You should, um, because that'd be really cool. Um, if you want to catch up with all of our playthroughs, minus the stuff that I'm hoarding for Japan, uh, check out the YouTube. Um, there's a slew of content coming, I promise. It's all just getting processed. We'll thank our friends at Skytech. If you're in the market for a computer in the U.S., check them out. They're super dope. Tea drinkers, check out our link with Adagio. Proceeds of that benefit the Trevor Project. And if you want to support the Stinky Cat Boy or further rig the cooking votes in your favor, check out the stream wish list. I know they are back on wait list again. I do have some codes if you're a content creator and want access to build your own. Um, but yeah, y'all take care. And we'll check you tomorrow. Have a terrific and not spooky night. All right, let's see who we got up. I was hoping it would be one of those quick ones, but there's probably still another 15, 20 minutes of dialogue, and I gotta go to bed. I still gotta study and shit. But yeah, thank you for all the follows, the resubs, and uh, just hanging out with us. Thanks for all the follows as well. I hope you all enjoyed and had a terrific night. We'll be back with some more goodness tomorrow. Um... But yeah, we'll see uh we'll see how it goes. Oh shit. Let's go raid RPGC. I don't think she has streamed in a hot minute. She's working on some Legend of Mana speedruns. She's a wonderful, wonderful lady. Um and I think they might be joining us in running 15 in the very near future. So go check it out. It's a really cool run, really cool streamer. And hopefully y'all have a terrific night. Thanks for joining. And hopefully we'll see you here tomorrow. Have a good one.